and welcome back super moms in today's video i'm going to be explaining why applying this simple business principle is going to save you lots of time make life an awful lot easier and be an overall game changer So like all the best ones are, this is a very simple concept. But I have seen people skyrocket their businesses. So why isn't that we can't apply it to our lives and skyrocket our lives in the direction that we want to take them? It's this simple. You're meant to spend 90 minutes a day on your business, not in your business. So from a business point of view, this could be instead of constantly being on the shop floor selling to customers, you're planning out like your future lines and your social media marketing or your advertising or making sure that you've got the best stuff to cover the shop floor. That's sort of like on your business as opposed to in your business, packing orders, things like this. I like applying the same concept to life. So I'm gonna be realistic here. 90 minutes a day on your own life is a little excessive. And let's be honest, for some of us, we don't have 90 minutes a day to do anything. Uh, if people are still working, it might be you get up, you get the kid up, and you go to work, and by the time you get back and feed the kid, feed yourself, then that's, there's no time left, like it's gone, the time is gone. So, I like to go for the 30 to 60 minutes. It may be that you do 30 minutes every few days, or you can maybe do 60 minutes like twice a week but it's the same thing it's applying time on your life not in your life so you're not just constantly responding to things that you're actually getting on top of things you're planning ahead and this is going to save you so much time so you might look at it and be like oh, I've got to invest 30 minutes a day or I've got to invest like a couple of hours a week I haven't got that time but actually once you start investing it you will reap the rewards big time, like big time. You could use that time to apply the other principles that we are gonna be covering in this series on saving time. So I will connect all the videos in a playlist under saving time that I will link down below once they're all live. It might be that you already have some things that you want to implement, but you haven't had a chance because you haven't got this time. It might be things like decluttering. I love a declutter. I'm actually gonna do an entire month on decluttering so if you're watching this a few years after it airs originally then do check out because there will probably be a playlist on decluttering by that point and like a whole month's worth of content and resources on the website about decluttering because that is a big time saver but if you haven't had a chance to get these things out of the way it might be that half of your wardrobe doesn't fit you anymore and every time you go to get ready you're constantly like having to to go through all these things that don't fit. It may be that you've lost loads of weight or it may be that you are currently pregnant, in which case spend some time on your life, put away all the stuff that doesn't fit. And then when you're going to your wardrobe to choose what to wear, it's gonna save you so much time, so much time. Same thing with like your cupboards. It could be you've got a load of food in there that you don't like. Maybe you went vegetarian and there's things with meat in. Maybe you went gluten free and there's stuff with gluten in. Spend some time on your life. Pull out all those cupboards, everything in those cupboards, go through them, check their sell by dates, get rid of stuff that you don't need, and suddenly it's so much easier. It could be planning your shopping. So instead of like panic buying on the way home from work every day, or having to like leave notes here, there, and everywhere, hoping that someone gets some milk, spend some time on your life. Set up like a, a tri-weekly milk delivery or get your Ocado order sorted so you have like a standard and you're like I always on this day put together the order that's then gonna come two days later that I know then that we've got food through like the weekend when people eat more stuff or we want more fresh food like coming up with things like your systems your time blocking that are all mentioned in the other videos in this month this is where you find the time to do that, is clawing back some of this time. Research has actually suggested that planning for 10 to 12 minutes a day can save you at least, at least two hours over your day. That is insane. Who wouldn't want, particularly mums, who wouldn't want an extra two hours in the day? And like an extra magical two hours to appear. So by applying the working on your life, not in your life principle, 
you could be getting more than two hours back. Can you really afford not to do this? Like, really, really? Who can afford not to do this? Like, please comment down below and say, no, I've got tons of time. Because I, I'm quite happily like push some of my stuff your way. So when it comes to implementing some of these things, I get hit with a barrage of excuses. And the thing is, I had those excuses once upon a time and I sucked it up and I got on with it and I now have all these time management things in place. But I was where you were, you can do it. The simplest but probably least popular way is to get up earlier. Now this obviously depends on what your kid's doing. Some people may find that they have to cut it off like sofa time at the end of the day, but this is probably harder than shuffling your butt out of bed that little bit earlier. And it's tough getting up early to start with, but you kind of get into the rhythm of it. I get up twice a week at 5.20, four times a week at six o'clock, and then my lying day at 7.30 because that is when my kid gets up. And that time, that like golden time, the two 520s because I have to get to the gym and then I start my six, six to eight o'clock thing. So it's not actually to get any more done, it's to get somewhere. But the other days it's six to eight. It's like two magical hours to daddy gets her up those days. But um, so even could be six to 7.30 if you haven't got a partner that can like cover the first half an hour. Uh, it, it might be your kid gets up at seven, so you only get an hour, but even if you manage to claw half an hour, just like claw back half an hour, getting up half an hour early to plan your life, you still, you can just plan it in your PJs. Like you don't, you don't need to get all dolled up to plan stuff. And obviously, eventually, this planning and this spending time on your life will claw you back so much time that you can shift the planning to a more reasonable hour or a more appropriate time. By which point you will love getting up early and love what you're achieving with it and you can thank me later. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, love all things like planning and organisation. I'm a bit psychotic about it. I love like researching like new planning and organisation things. So. I'm constantly coming up with these random little things or I suddenly realise that there's something in my day that actually is, is really kind of awesome and like really contributes to how I get everything done. So I do jump on the Facebook community group. We have a, it's a super mums community and I jump on there and do a live about these things all the time. So I'll pop the link for the community, for super mums community group in the description down below so you can jump on there and come and join us and get all these like random weird little lives that will hopefully inspire some awesome changes and some awesome time saving things in your day too. I really look forward to connecting with you all on this amazing journey through motherhood. Don't forget, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.